the app opened and loaded so quickly that I couldn't get to the phone viewing time. The app is a bit slow to respond actually for some reason. Oh, specify password. So we did have a look at the database model, model alight uh, table name. And so, yeah. Okay then, hello everybody, and in this video, we'll be having a look at Portive, <clears throat> excuse me, so what I'll do is I'll cut the video, and I'll be, alright then, so, Portive, first of all, is actually a database app, where you can create databases on your Chromebook, and it's a Android app and it's not Office 360 where you would have yeah where you would have your like Microsoft access and you know to create databases uh, so when is that so first of all I'm gonna go through a, a few things first uh, yeah, so um, I am using the uh, Chromebook and a different screen recorder. I have actually sorted out the cloudiness and it turns out that it was something to do with the black screen and not the Chromebook running heavy tasks. So I am using a screen recorder which I used to use. So. Having a look at the port of so far in terms of the permission request section doesn't really offer much that is promising. We didn't really see a storage uh, permission and we didn't see a window size option either, which will therefore make the app display in a tablet view or a phone view. And this Chromebook having the Android 11 operating system like interface will have the phone view and tablet view which I didn't know about. Oh, I do hope that it hasn't gone to phone view. So, but again, if it has gone to phone view, unfortunately, you are, you are going to have to uh, put up with that because the app opened and loaded so quickly that I couldn't get to the phone view in time. In fact, let me see if I can get to the phone view. All right, we have gotten to the phone view. No, the tablet view. So I managed to get there in the end. So, but again, the preset window sizes didn't. You know, um, it did, didn't come up on the permission request. So, what is that? All right, then. So, no databases. So, this app does actually look pretty promising, being as we didn't see anything in the permission request section, and nor the window sizes. But it looks as though that this app may offer some promise. New database. But I'm not using the touch screen Chromebook. Oh. Oh, I don't know. Oh, okay. All right, database name. Uh, the app is a bit slow to respond actually for some reason. Database. 
Edit. 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 So I'm going to have to use my screen reader commands to navigate my way around the app. Grand book test. Now you can get database jobs these days, but you do need an IT qualification in level three. And there was actually a face of a decision to go back to colleague as a possible um, route. Okay, so it's got Chromebook test. So I have to open the database I've just created, which is a bit silly. New table. All right then. Yeah, so, sorry, I was faced with the option to go back to college, but if I were to use my Chromebook, I wouldn't have a way of running Microsoft Access. Well, I would, but if I wanted to use the Office 360, I would have to pay for it, and I wasn't willing to pay for Office 360. So I thought to myself, there must be apps on Chromebook that you can create databases with and also with some technical know-how to them because colleges will require you to have some technical uh, know-how under your belt well they wouldn't require you but they will teach it they will teach you the technical which will therefore require to app to have some technical know-how where within it so Specify password. Oh, specify password. So we did have a look at the database model, model alight. Table, uh, table name. And so, yeah. Test. Uh, test. Yeah, so. Okay. Yeah, the database model alight was actually quite technical, but then we didn't come down too harshly on the technical aspect of the app because we thought that colleges may require you to have some technical know-how under your belt and you know and blah 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 so one thing that I'm noticing is that if I want to create a table or if I want to create anything at all, I have to click on it first. Which language? Font style. Normal. Font style. Image style. Show weekday. Show data. It's silly. Show table. In my opinion. Show table details. Show details. Confirm. Rebuilding table. Freeze header, show row, show related row ID, show the related... Another thing which I'm noticing is that I'm not really given an option to add any rows or any columns so far. And... More options, test. No data. No data. Test. More options. Top refresh. Selected. New column. Ah, new column. Column name. Oh, column name. Cover. Oh. Drop down. Column. Edit box. Alright then. So test. I'm going to call it test. Drop down menu. Text. Text. Cancel. Pop up with integer. Integer. Selected. Tick. Text. That's number. Email. Email. Relationship. Rela image. Relationship. Relationship. Image. Real. Checkbox. Date. Time. Date and time. Phone. Address. You are. Email. Image. Relate. Real. Integer. Selected. Tick. Into. Real. Checkbox. Date. Time. Date and Sele Selected. Real. Selected. This is so. 
interesting and promising, although one thing that I am noticing is that I, you didn't have that VAR, CAR thing, which I think might be required in colleges. Yeah. But you've got date and time, which is required by colleges. And you've also got date and time. Drop down menu, text. Separately. Press search, cancel, okay, but selected text. <laughs> Okay. One thing I would like to see is if you can add like multiple columns as opposed to adding each column one by one. New row. So. Selected, new column. New column. Column name, application window, uh, edit box, key, drop down, can, okay. Go for a test name again. All right, so I guess I have to do something a minute. Test two. Test, test, test two. Test, test. Hmm. Search, search, new row, more of test, test two, test, ah. test two, test two, test cancel, okay, editing, search, edit, cancel, okay, test two. Uh, you know, I think I'm actually going to conclude this video and say that in summary, I am quite impressed with the app and I am quite surprised uh, with the app, even though we didn't see any storage options. I do think that the app has a lot of potential in it. And I think if you are going in a college situation, I think this app will be a very good app to use. You do have some options like integer and I think date and time as well as wheels and you also have image but you don't have the VAR CAR option and I don't think you have other options like the database modeler, modeler light has so I'll probably advise using database modeler light although that being said the database modeler light can be overwhelming for newcomers and I think this app is actually pretty good for newcomers and first timers who want to create databases. So obviously we haven't tested the app fully, <clears throat> excuse me, but I think if I do and if I can I will review it because so far this app does look promising. The only thing that I have about the app though is that if I want to create a new database or create a new table I have to then click on the table or I have to then click on the database to enable me to start adding data and again I think if you want to create a database or you want to create a table you should be able to add things there and then as opposed to you know opening the opening your database or opening your table just to add columns also I do find that it would be helpful if you could add columns in bulk and rows in bulk as opposed to clicking on the column each time you want to add a column and clicking on row each time you want to add a row because that way it's you know it's a bit too bulky but overall I am quite impressed with the app and I think it will be good for colleague situations as well as I said and if not there is always database model of light okay then so thank you very much for watching I hope this video has been enjoyable and pleasant to watch due to um, past image quality problems in in the process. I do hope that the image quality of the video is is better. Thank you very much for watching. Stay tuned.
for more videos to come and I'll see you soon.